sweet friends, welcome back to Simply Our Home. If you are new, my name is Amy and I'm really glad that you decided to stop by. Today, we are going to be making over our small entryway. Now, in this space, I have just purchased a new furniture piece, so I wanna get that in here and see how that looks. We'll also be changing out and around the wall art and just decorating the space to make it feel more cozy, welcoming, and bright. So we have tons of decorating to get done today. So let's go ahead and just jump straight into today's video. I hope you enjoy. Here's your first look into our small entryway. As you see, we don't have a huge space to work with. We have this small area next to the front door that I like to decorate. And then we basically have a hallway with a console table that leads straight into our kitchen. When you step through the front door, you're greeted immediately by our staircase. Once inside, our entryway gives you a glimpse into three of our main rooms, our dining room, kitchen, and family room. Because of this, I want the area to feel like an extension of all the other rooms so that it flows seamlessly from room to room. So that's exactly what I'll be trying to accomplish today. Since I do have several new faces here, I thought it would be fun to take a look back at the whole process of how our entryway has evolved over the years. So we'll just quickly go through that and then we'll start on this makeover. This is a couple of shots of the walkthrough when we were considered buying this house. So yes, it was about 12 years ago. So look how little and cute Elena is. So the first thing that we did was to install a lighter carpet that just brightened the space instantly and then to continue with that brightening process we tackled painting all of the oak wood trim throughout our home the sherwood williams color navajo white that did take us about three months to complete but wow what a difference that made then we followed that up by refinishing our floors which was a major job but so worth it then we started to think about accent walls and so we wanted to add a little bit of character so we added some board and batten and i just love how that automatically gave character to this space and that brings us to today the first thing that we'll be changing today is the rug. I'm gonna go ahead and roll this up. I'm going to be replacing it with a smaller one that I got from Amazon. I'll have both of those linked down below for you. Then we can move on to the next step, which is hanging a mirror right next to the front door. Here's the mirror that I'll be hanging. Now it's from Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure if it's still available. And if you remember, I had it hung in her dining room, but I think moving it over here is better because not only is it going to brighten the space, but you can quickly take a glimpse of yourself before opening your door or heading outside. One prime day, I saw this cabinet and it was on sale. So I thought it might be perfect to place next to our front door. So it is called Bush Furniture. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to put this together and then we can see how it's going to look in that space. Days without water, a 
along the sun so grown We cross over borders to get where we are And it's all for you It's all for you It's all for you It's all for you I did it all for you It's all for you It's all for you just like that, after about an hour, maybe hour and a half, I was able to put this cabinet together. It was super easy. The directions were great. So I know if I can do it, definitely you can do it too. I love the shutter-like doors. I also love the contrast between the wooden top and a cream cottagey finish on the bottom. I also love that it has some shelving so I can store some things, which is always a benefit around here. It's all for you, it's all for you, I did it all for you. All right, so now we are going to open up the new rug. I haven't did that yet. It's also from Amazon. But I, before I do that, I wanted to show you this anti-slip, kind of like mat or material. Now, I got this off of Amazon as well, and I'll go ahead and link it down below. But I had this under my other rug, and it was great. It didn't transfer onto the hardwood, so you don't have to worry about that. And it did keep the rug in place. It also comes with these nifty little scissors that you can cut the material to the size of your rug. And so I think this is a really great piece to have under your rugs to prevent any slippage and keep it really safe at the front door. I love this. I think it goes really well with both the wall color, which is the shiitake by Sherwood Williams, as well as all of our trim, which is the Navajo white. So I'm super, super happy with this purchase. Okay, friends, now it's time to start decorating. First, I'm going to pull in this vessel. If you remember, I got from our last haul from Hobby Lobby, but I think it looks a little bit too small in this area. So what I think I'm gonna do is grab something to give it a boost. So I'm grabbing these books. I actually got these at Hobby Lobby too. Now on this side, it says live more, worry less, but I think I'm gonna turn it around so it's more neutral. Also, I like that it coordinates with the finish on the mirror and see, it just adds a little bit more height and fills in the area real nicely. So next I'm gonna grab some books and just place them to the side. I think that's going to just look real nice. And instead of looking at the book bindings, I'm turning it around so that it looks more cream. Next, I'm coming in with this decorative metal bowl. Originally, I purchased this from Amazon, wanting the copper one, but instead, this one was delivered, and I actually love the bronze color and especially that metal finish. I love it placed here next to the front door as a catch-all for maybe your keys and things like that. Next, I'll finish off this area by adding these beautiful florals that were from Hobby Lobby. I love that greenery. It's gonna bring in a lot of texture as well as height right beneath the mirror to really fill up the space.
really happy with the way that this turned out. I think the cabinet fits there perfectly because we don't have a ton of space there, but I think it fits there perfectly. And hi, Moco. I think she approves as well. But moving on to this little space right here, I want to go ahead and reuse the hooks and the sign that were beside the door. So let's get that hung and then we can style them. I'm continuing to love the texture that baskets provide. So I thought that this cute little tote, I actually got this a couple years ago from Joanne Fabrics. So I'm gonna place that here on the hooks and then I'm going to add in these cute little florals that have just a touch of yellow. These were $7.99 from Hobby Lobby and so definitely get those at 50% off when Hobby Lobby has their discount. So I'm just going to place them in here and just make it look like it's overflowing and maybe like I've went out and collected these maybe in a field. And to finish up these hooks, I'm going to just simply add this brass watering can. Now this is from Target. As you can see, it was $14.99. And I love just that real pretty circular handle and then the spout. I think that is adorable. So I'm just gonna hang it real quickly right here on the end and that'll be all for styling these hooks. Okay, so I really love how this turned out and I think it looks very inviting. I love the wood colors and it also matches the target mirror that is over here in our family room. And because this has the, the hooks, it kind of just draws your eye into our space. So I love this. I think it looks really great here and I'm excited to decorate it here the upcoming seasons. So now as we swing over here, we have this console table here. I got this at Hobby Lobby. And so I just want to add a few touches here in our very small but cozy entryway. So the first piece that I want to add here in, on the console table is a piece that I actually DIY'd. It says, it is well with my soul. I just stenciled that on to a prime surface and I love the frame on that. And then I just gave that a fresh coat of bronze paint. And I think that is so pretty and I'm just not yet ready to part with it. It was in our family room. So I'm just going to recirculate that piece into here in our entryway. So what I'm going to do is just set it here and prop it up and because it's so large, it's going to add a lot of height. Now I might in the future get one of those picture lights to go up here and really cast down and create more light in this area. I even thought about sconces on the sides. So you'll have to let me know down in the comments what you think would brighten up the space or look nice. So now we can work on the rest of the entryway table. I'll grab a couple vases and add some real colorful florals to just brighten up the area. Anytime, any place, you stand beside me and wait. I sing hallelujah. I bring my burden again. To my father and my friend, I sing alleluia. Anytime, any place, you stand beside me and wait. I sing alleluia. I bring my burden again to my father.
All right, so the last place that we need to decorate is the bottom shelf of this table. Now, I scoured all of the stores, TJ Maxx, Kirkland's, even Target, and then I ran on to the perfect basket that was not too wide that would fit past or that would extend out past the console table. And this is what I found at Walmart. It's a better homes and garden basket. And I was able to get this for around $21, which I think is a fantastic deal. And I love the handles on this. And then again, I love the texture and just the warmth that baskets brings. And all of my baskets, I didn't have two as a set. And so I knew I wanted just to place two baskets very simply at the bottom of the console and call it done. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do here is get the price tags off and then place them right underneath of the console table. To add a wonderful smell right at your entryway, I'm going to place one of these sachets down in here. It's the pumpkin spice. I got this at Hobby Lobby and oh my word it smells so good and this is the my favorite smell for the upcoming season so i'm just going to place that right inside here and then when guests come in they're going to actually get that aroma which is perfect Okay, sweet friends, that about wraps up today's makeover in our small entryway. Remember, you don't have to have a huge budget or a large space to make your home feel welcoming, cozy, and bright. I hope you enjoyed my decorating ideas, and if you did, I'd appreciate a big thumbs up. That really does help me out. Also, before you go, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more videos like today's. There's going to be tons of seasonal decorating coming real soon as we approach my favorite time of year with lots of fall and then Christmas decorating ideas. Before I go, I'd like to share with you an encouraging Bible verse, and today I'm reading from Isaiah 46 verse 4 even to your old age and gray hairs I am he I am he who will sustain you I have made you and I will carry you I will sustain you and I will rescue you be on the lookout for my summer home tour coming real soon I thank you so much for watching for all of your sweet comments and support I love reading each and every one of your comments I hope to see you back next time take care and God bless friends Bye.